Hi guys, what's going on? This is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome back to an episode of Tactic Testing and Instructions. The tactic behind me is Naps Experiment 13. It's a 442 using defensive wingers and uh, it got a P100 in his test. So it's it works, it does. And um, I'm going to try it with uh, Hoffenheim, PSG, Wolves and Chelsea. See how it does. Stay tuned for the instructions. Right, welcome back guys. If uh, you haven't been on this channel before and this is the first video you are seeing, then please go on to my profile, go on to the channel. There is so many tactics on there, all supplied with the uh, download link and also all of the instructions for people that can't actually uh, import using the download section. So yeah, check it out guys if you like it. Uh, consider subscribing, liking the videos. Uh, it all helps to grow this channel. We are fairly new. So uh, yeah. Any help is much appreciated. So this is the tactic then. 20.4.1, experiment 13, hobby nap. So I'm guessing it's a bit of a collaboration tactic. The 442, P100 or cups. Uh, the player instructions are then pressing forward left, pressing forward right, defensive winger left, defensive winger right, box to box midfielder left, box to box midfielder right, wing back left, wing back right, Four playing defender left, four playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper. Yes, set piece instructions, corners then. Uh, defending right and left, and attacking left and right. And as you can see up here, look, it's the BO442, which means it's the instructions taken from the Beowulf tactic. Um, so hopefully, it should do well. That's a great uh, instruction. I've done that tactic before, and I know that the set pieces work wonders. So. Um, yeah, uh, let's go to the free kick instructions. Uh, defending right, it's all routine actually, so there's nothing to change on it, it's all default. And attacking, yep, yeah, this one's also default, so there's nothing to change on the free kicks. The throwing instructions, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and again, it's the Beowulf 442 throwing instruction. Uh, for anyone that can't download the tactic, I go through all these so you can pause the video. Uh, take pictures or screenshots or anything like that, anything you need to uh, then import all of this and copy your game. Anyone that's wondering why I do, do all this. So yeah, that is the tactic uh, for the instructions and the set piece instructions. So it's a uh, tick attack tactic, attack, attacking mentality, and possession is narrow. Uh, I don't really see a lot of tactics that have that, so narrow uh, attacking width is pretty um, out of out of the norm <laughs> uh, pass into space overlapping left and right uh, play out defense slightly more direct passing directness tempo is higher work ball into box and run at the defense in transition counter press and counter uh, distribute to fullbacks and throw it along are the only instructions for the goalkeeper and out of possession use offside trap much higher line of engagement and standard defensive line you don't see that so often uh, it's normally high defensive line or something like that. Defensive width is narrow. Use tied to marking. Extremely urgent press and intensity. Prevent short goalkeeper dis distribution. And get stuck in instruction. See that uh, quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that's the tactic. That's the best supposed team for Wolves. Chelsea. PSG. And finally, Hoffenheim. So hopefully... It's uh, four teams, which means I'll be going straight to the end of the season. And uh, yeah, let's see the results. Right then, welcome back. So let's get started in the Premier League with Wolves and Chelsea. And as you can see by the table, it wasn't actually outstanding. Chelsea finished fifth, which is lower than expectation. And Wolves only finished seventh, which is one uh, place above expectation. So there's no uh, nothing excitingly amazing about it. I know it does do good, so I'm not dissing the tactic whatsoever. I think it's all about getting the right team and the right uh, the right preparations. I know that these are holiday tests, all right? So they do vary. Um, and I know that when you play games, playing properly, obviously I'll play them properly as well with my own personal games. Um, tactics can work out better. So don't uh, always take these tests for gospel. Plus, it does change. It does vary. It just shows it in kind of what can happen what kind of stats you might be expecting 
Um, so yeah, Chelsea finished fifth and uh, Wolves seventh. The good news is both strikers for both uh, teams uh, got first and second with top goals. Jimenez and Abraham, 23 and 21. Uh, and then Jimenez that got player of the matches came first with eight. But you haven't got any other players in any of the other uh, player stats. Average rating, assists, clean sheets, or yellow cards. I'm surprised you haven't got any in the yellow cards. Considering you've got defensive wingers, uh, you're playing the get stuck in instruction. Not, you normally see at least one player there. So yeah, let's have a look at the Wolves competitions then. So runner up in the Euro Cup, that's not bad. Even though they finished seventh, he went out against Tottenham. Tottenham are a winnable team. Um, you can, it's, you kind of should be able to beat them, especially with a plug and play tactic. Uh, but yeah, you you got to the final at least. Uh, Jimenez came second in the competition on goals. So that's not too bad. And got a couple of players dotted around here. Look, Diego Yota and uh, Patricio uh, with clean sheets. So, yeah, did all right. Not too bad for that competition. Uh, knocked out the fourth round by Brentford in the FA Cup. That is bad. Definitely be beating Brentford. And the Carabao Cup runner-up. So, he got to the final again, which is a shame. And he went out to Liverpool 5-4. And Jimenez came the top goal scorer in that competition as well. Um, so you got to two finals in two cups, and it's such a shame that you just didn't win one. Just one would have would have made the seventh place not look not as bad. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's have a look at your schedule then. The head to heads against Chelsea. So the first time you played Chelsea, it was a two all, and then the second time you played Chelsea, uh, Chelsea beat Wolves four one. So yeah, looked like it worked a little bit better for Chelsea than it did did uh, Wolves. Uh, some of the results then lost against Liverpool 5 0, Leicester 3 2. You lost uh, Watford lost, so yeah, it's a little bit inconsistent. You're losing against pants teams, really. Burnley 2 0. Uh, then you've got here look, West Ham 4 0. So you really should be beating those small teams there. Uh, but there is a few teams where you are getting some decent results 8 0 against Leicester. Uh, then you got Man City, you drew against them here. Then you beat Olymp um, not Olympiacos, sorry, Frankfurt 4 1. Not a great team, but it is in the Euro Cup competitions. Uh, let's have a look down here. Norwich 4 1. You should be beating them anyway. Arsenal 2 all. Uh, Manu 2 all. Decent result there. You beat them 3 1 in the Carabao Cup semi final, so that's a decent result. So, yeah, there, there is some decent ones, but there's definitely some games in there that you should be winning. Definitely. So let's have a look at the squad then. So your best player was Jimenez. Uh, 39 goals and 15 assists. And second was, was uh, Jao Moutinho. Uh, 4 and 18 assists. Played a 7.3. Not too bad. Uh, your second striker, Yota or Diego Jota. Uh, 26 and 15. So both your strikers got 15 assists each. Uh, obviously, it's always good having two strikers assist each other. And uh, yeah, you got a couple of other players dotted around with some decent stats. Uh, in my opinion, I probably wouldn't ever have two box-to-box -box midfielders, just the one. So I don't think I don't think that's a great tactical decision to have two of them. In my opinion, always have I don't know, a deep line playmaker. I do like the deep line playmaker. Uh, I like the Mozilla, great role, love that role. So yeah. Anyway, let's go to the tactic analysis then. So. In the last 50 games, uh, you scored 101 goals and conceded 69. 69 is dreadful. You should definitely be uh, is conceding a lot less than that. And that's only in the last 50 games, right? You conceded more. You played more than 50. So you definitely conceded more than 69. And that's that's not a great great stat to have. Uh, 101 goals, though, which isn't too bad. You scored more. You played more than 50 matches. Yeah, that's not too bad. Seventh place. Seventh place. So goal type sends 6 to 3 play shots, uh, 20 powerful shots, 3 kill shots, 12 headers, 1 free kick and only 2 penalties scored. Uh, goal assists, 18 corners and 4 free kicks. So 22 of your goals in the last 50 games um, came from set pieces. The rest of them were all open play, which is too bad. Uh, goal locations and assist locations. So next team then is Chelsea. How do they do? So in the Champions Cup, they got to the quarterfinal, got knocked out by Real Madrid. That's a bit of a shame, but Real Madrid are a great team. Uh, lost out 4-1. And then European Super Cup again, runner-up. Chelsea and Liverpool, you lost against Liverpool. Knocked out in the quarterfinal by Man U in the FA Cup. And the fourth round in the Carabao Cup got knocked out by Liverpool. So, yeah. 
it would have been nice again just to win one competition so oh well oh well that look at your schedule then against some of the big teams. they finished off a decent may here won all all three games 4-1 5-0 4-0 uh, wolves we've seen 4-1 tottenham won all decent result uh, lost out to real madrid we know that Juventus 3-2. Juventus ain't a uh, ain't a bad team. It's a great, absolutely fantastic team. But to beat them 3-2 is awesome. Uh, Man U 3-1. And then you got the likes of Man City lost. Port Vale not bothered about them. Leicester 5-1. Man City 3-0. So again, you're picking up some decent results. Uh, would be nice if you just maybe com competed a little bit more against the bigger teams. That might have helped definitely with uh, securing champions. Football next season, so yeah, let's have a look at your team anyway. So, your best player was Tammy Abraham 34 goals and five assists. Your second uh, striker, Michi Batshui 22 and 7. The biggest creators in your team was Reese James with 17 assists. The right back, not bad. Reese James is a younger uh, right back, only 20, uh, but definitely is absolutely incredible. One of the best uh, English right backs on the game, uh, obviously, second to Trent Alexander Arnold. Um, so yeah, he's he's definitely one for the future. And, uh, so yeah, again, everyone's dotted around doing pretty good. Uh, Angola Conte, uh, four and nine as that box to box midfielder. That is his natural position. So I thought he might have done a little bit better considering that he is an amazing player. So let's have a look at the tactic analysis then. Goals. So ninety eight in the last fifty games and fifty six conceded. So again, that is not good. I don't think that's great. They should definitely, definitely be having more than that, in my opinion, obviously less conceded. Goal type sense, 69 play shots, 5 powerful shots, 2 curled shots, 13 headers, uh, 3 free kicks and 6 penalties. Goal assists, uh, 18 in the last 50 games, we, uh, 18 goals sorry, were from set piece. The rest of them were open playing again, 18 through balls. At uh, this time though, 18 crosses. A lot of crosses coming from the uh, Chelsea team. Uh, this is the goal locations and the assist locations. So let's go to PSG or Hoffenheim. Go to Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim next then. So they came second. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome going that is for Hoffenheim. Definitely uh, to finish second in the Bundesliga. And yeah, unfortunately they haven't got any players in the goals or average ratings or player of the matches. But they've got second place with 12 assists uh, there. And then clean sheets. Is that Borman? Uh, 16 clean sheets for the Hoffenheim goalkeeper. So that's pretty good. Top spot. Uh, not bad going. I mean, the kind of teams that finished below. Look at Dortmund. Dortmund came ninth. That is dreadful. Uh, but FC Bayern Munich, uh, always expected to win. And you wasn't far off clinching top spot. 67 points to their 70 that's one game in it obviously it would have been one game and goal difference and they still would have won so maybe one one win and one draw and you would have got it i'll say that so let's have a look at the competition so you runner up in the uh Pokal cup and i'm guessing no it was uh Bayern leverkusen uh went out 2-1 in the final that's a shame it would have been nice to uh, get that and come second because hoffenheim are predicted to uh come eight it's come second. It's pretty good going. The schedule then. How did you do against the big teams? Union Berlin is a small team, 5 0. Leipzig lost against them. Hertha Berlin, 3 0. Decent result. Leipzig again, uh, won on penalties there. Uh, FC Bayern drew against them. Uh, Wolfsburg, 2 0. Good going there. Again, Leverkusen, 2 0. Decent result. Uh, Dortmund, 2 1. Great result. Bayern, you lost against them. Chalka, 2 0. Awesome. Hertha Berlin, the game 4 0. So, yeah, you're picking up some great results. This tactic worked great for Offenheim, definitely. Uh, let's have a look at your squad. Best player was De Boer. Your striker, 15 and 6. And your other striker, Kramaric, uh, got 15 and 5. So, pretty even again for them two. Uh, not too bad, not outstanding. There's definitely been uh, teams where they've scored loads more using different tactics, but for Hoffenheim, absolutely fantastic. They did what they needed to do. So they came second in the Bundesliga, so awesome. So let's have a look at the tactic analysis then. Goals. So 107 and 47 conceded in the last 49 matches. 
that's what that's more like it right that's actually every game i think i'm pretty sure that's every game um so that's great i'm, I'm happy with those stats 107 and 47 obviously you may have scored more if it's taken into account different different games but in the domestic league 34 matches even though you've played four oh no so in the whole 34 matches where am i going people uh 63 and 40 so 40 is probably a little bit high you scored quite a lot of goals in the competition so hmm. <laughs> so um, i'm still there. i'm still there. uh goal types then 70 play shots 10 powerful shots two curled shots 20 headers looks like uh, it looks like uh, hoffenheim's a heading team um two free kicks and three penalties assists from set pieces uh, 31 32 came from set pieces so that's quite a lot uh, set pieces definitely works a lot better in this team than as the other two teams with uh, chelsea and wolves um, so seven short passes 20 crosses 20 through balls pretty high with the uh, set pieces that's definitely contributed uh, to their success in my opinion for hoffenheim uh, goal locations and assist locations so finally psg the perhaps the best team in the list world-class team let's see how they did the go there we go so they came first we was always expecting them to come first at the end of the day it's always nice to see what a tactics like on a world-class team because people like to adapt tactics six seven years into the future when everyone's already got regens and you're already world-class and you just want to start something new so um yeah cavani and mbappe 36 and 32 first and second mbappe cavani and neymar uh, all three in the average ratings assist neymar and munia 17 and 13 player of the matches 11 for killian and mbappe came first and your goalkeeper got 23 assists and Demario got 17 yellow cards. And for a winger, in fairness, you're a defensive winger. Mario is probably not his best position, uh, but he is the best winger on that right-hand side. And fortunately, it's a defensive winger position. So he's tried his best. He's done his job. And at the end of the day, 35 wins, one draw, two, uh, two losses, and 106 points with a 96 goal difference. Absolutely insane. So that's absolutely fantastic. How did they do it in the competitions then? Right, so they won the French Cup, runner up in the Coupe de la Ligue, and they won the Trophies des Champions. Let's have a look at the results then against Rennes, 4 0. Awesome. When they were in the French Cup against OL, 1 0. Great result. Uh, went out, unfortunately, uh, in the quarter final of the Champions League against Barcelona. Barcelona, again, are a great team. Went out 4 0 over both legs. So that's not, that's not too bad. Would have been nice to go on and win it really to win the league and get a treble. Um, well, not get a treble, get a quadruple, should I say? Or we've already got the treble. Uh, let's have a quick schedule. Then summer, obviously, there's going to be a lot of wins in here. How many there? Look, look at that on beat and run, win streak, should I say? Madness, madness. Six nil, four nil, four nil, three nil, four nil. elite elite teams uh, definitely benefit from this and that's probably why he's got the p100 all cups with uh, the liverpool team because they are amazing they are closest to the elite that you can get uh, they are the likes of liverpool barcelona and pretty much psg there's only three or four teams in the whole game in my opinion that are world-class elite the rest of them are great you got the man cities yeah you got your real madrid they are great great teams but there's only a few world class um, so let's have a look at the squad then so then Mbappe and Cavani 42 goals 47 goals 12 assists 9 assists they played absolutely insane you've got quite a few players scoring goals here as well Marquinhos Neymar and Demaria all scoring 10 or above um, Neymar uh, got 19 assists 39 chances created you're right back Munir one goal and 20 assists, 39 created. And who else here? Demaria, 12. Cavani, Benat, 10. Yeah. yeah, the strikers love this tactic. Obviously, Mbappe and Cavani are going to just bang in goals for fun. To the arts, what they do best, it's what they do in real life. Um, so there's no, no reason why they're not going to do it with a plug-and-play tactic. Um, let's have a look at the tactic 
analysis then. So goals and you scored 131 and conceded 32 in the last 50 matches, which is exactly what you're looking for. This has been absolutely perfect for PSG. Um, to be fair, you probably could be expecting to score more. <laughs> Definitely you could be expecting to score more, but I think with the fact that you've got defensive wingers um, has stopped Neymar's goal scoring capabilities, kept him back. Uh, is only supplied from afar. I've definitely seen tactics where he's got 29, 30 assists uh, and 20 goals. So, yeah, it's definitely a thought going into the tactic when you're picking who should be a defensive winger. Because at the end of the day, Neymar shouldn't be. Neymar shouldn't be a left-sided defensive winger. But it's trying out the tactic. I can't change it. It's a tactic test. Everyone knows uh, I only do the one run. Uh, I'm a bit relentless. If it goes rubbish, it's rubbish. No, it's not, well, it's not rubbish. You know what I mean? It's more hasn't done well this test, but we know it can do well. But if everyone wants to try it, if you are downloading this tactic and you are trying it with smaller teams, underdogs, everything like that, then let us know in the comments because when you let me know, you're letting everyone else know that, oh, yeah, okay, so it does work with an underdog in said league. And awesome. So try it. Works well for you. Then let me know. Let me know again. And you're letting more people know and then you're, just helping out everyone. Yeah, anyway, goal types. 80 play shots, 17 powerful shots, zero curled shots. 17 headers, definitely Cavani. Uh, free kicks, five, and 12 penalties. Obviously, Mbappe is a very fast player, and uh, yeah, he does drag a lot of penalties, in my opinion, when you've got really fast players. I've played it a lot, and I, I don't know if it's right or true. But when your player can easily get past their defenders, the chance of them taking you down, you conceding the penalties a lot higher. I think that's probably why you've got 12 penalties. Uh, goal assists, 19 and 6. So 25 came from set pieces. But the rest of them were all open play. 23 uh, crosses, which is definitely what you should be expecting with the likes of Demaria uh, and Neymar getting all those assists. And 29 through balls. Opposition mistakes, 10. And mistakes i would be fuming i used to hate making mistakes and the worst one about this one the worst one about football manager 20 is your center backs dilly dallying on the ball and they're pressing forwards or advanced forwards or whoever they've got nicks it off here and goes and scores fuming fuming uh, so goal locations and assist locations so that is the experiment 13 tactic by nap and hobby hopefully you like it hopefully you download it hopefully it works for you so please guys if you like the video in the channels consider subscribing liking the video or the uh, download link is in the description below so feel free to download it and hopefully it works for you this is tucker jobs gaming see you later bye